I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. My people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord. We're the fishers. Begin with Elder Apostle Tower and Down, man. We're the fishers. We're fishing, and the bait is the Bible. We're fishing for the elect. Because we understand that this truth is only for the elect. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Hey, didn't Yahushai tell Peter he will make him fishes of men? There you go. And after will I send for many hunters. So the fishes are going to turn into hunters. Pursuant to the scriptures, the Lord is going to give us spiritual power. Alright? And the fishes are going to turn into hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. That's you niggas. And Esau too. Ain't just you niggas. After we, you know what? After we're done with these niggas, we're gonna go for you, Esau. We'll come for you. Because you're the ultimate nigga. And I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So the Heavenly Father, He gonna give us spiritual power, man. That's the real power. Spiritual power is much more powerful than a gun, than a bomb or a tank. Because with spiritual power, you can go into the mind of somebody and really fuck them up. Oh yeah. An example of spiritual power is the movie Lawnmower Man. Isaiah 41 and 15. Here's your Lawnmower Man right there. Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not thou worm Jacob, and this is referring to the elect of Israel, starting with them first. And ye men of Israel, why did the Lord call us a worm? Because we ain't got no power. A worm ain't got no power. A worm can't put up no resistance. Because a worm has no power, so we don't have no power right now. But the Lord said he gonna give us power. Fear not thou worm Jacob, ye men of Israel, I will help thee. How is he gonna help us? Let's read on. Saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. That's a lawnmower man right there. The lawnmower man. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. That's Esau's power. So the Lord is going to give us that spiritual power to come against Esau. And to come against you niggas. First we're going to take care of you niggas inside the truth and outside of the truth then you're gonna go for Esau thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff that's a metaphor for kicking much ass that's what that's a metaphor for kicking much ass thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, and we're going to glory and rejoice after we do that job, after we do that work. The Lord going to give us the power to do that work, man. Put in that work. You niggas, you're going to get that work. You're going to get it. Oh, you're going to get it.